All right, so today's video is going to be quite the video. I would advise you to uh, really have an open mind, buckle up. It's a very advanced level of discernment and many people are going to be at different spectrums of your awakening process. And today with all of the news that's come out from the big mainstream media outlets, there is just a renewed question of what's going on as well as just where do we go from here and how do we interpret things? So I'm gonna go over a couple of things, my uh, two cents, just some analysis and how to look at things from an open-minded perspective, as opposed to, as I've always said before, not taking things at face value. When you take things at face value, then you are at a very low level of, of discernment, of elementary understanding. And I'm not trying to say this in any uh, you know offensive way. I'm just saying that there's more than meets the eye and you have to uh, wake up to that. You have to wake up to the fact that when the mainstream media or somebody tells you something and there's a one a AB connection and that's it, then you are ignorant to what's really going on behind closed doors and the, the greater narrative, the greater war that's going on between good and evil and how the media plays a huge role in this whole venture of capturing your mind of the narrative and being able to control public opinion. Now today, some of the bigger news that has come out is from Fox News and CNN. So Fox News and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways and they, without giving specifics, they just ended it over the weekend. And so after this comes after Tucker made a speech outlining a lot of the pedophilia and stuff that has just been an abortion that has been just rampant, right? And he's calling it out as it is and just many other things, right? Don Lemon of CNN was fired today. He tweeted saying that he was seemingly shocked and all that stuff. I don't know if it's some antics and CNN was coming back and saying, no, that's not the full story and all that stuff. Regardless, this happened on the same day when over the weekend, it just looked like, oh, all, all is good and dandy and let's just continue going. The week before that, and also NBC Universal CEO Jeff Sh uh, Shell was ousted after admitting to an inappropriate relationship with a woman at the company. And so, again, over the past year, right, you have a lot of people, the CNN's old CEO, Jeff Zucker, was ousted, a new one came in, Chris Licht, and then slowly, a lot of people were cut. I think CNN had a few hundred people cut back in December, and just many other things, right, left-wing nuts, basically, being ousted. So a lot of things are, were happening there. Fox and Dominion settled prior to a lawsuit going to trial for what was like $787 million. And so this is just the tip of the iceberg. We can go on and on about various other things. The point is that this aligns, again, from a prophetic perspective. A lot of people talking about there's a great shaking. I've also said that the downfall of the media is coming, whether it is that the stewardship that people have, the owners or whoever, be given over to somebody else that would properly allow the truth and just not you know misinformation, disinformation, that you don't have the backing of uh, an elite few, right? Six companies control 90% of the mainstream media. You, you're not answering to agendas, to money, to all these other people, but rather you're presenting objective news. And so a few things you've got to realize is that number one, we are in a period of exposure, a great awakening, the likes that we've never seen before. People have been asleep, people have not understood what propaganda, smoke and mirrors, right? These, this op, they call it Operation Mockingbird. This whole programming agenda that's happened ever since, I think the 50s, all the 4 a.m. talking points. If you ever see a snippet of these local newscasters, they're all saying the same thing. You give them the talking points, they say it in this rote way, and they're all doing the same thing, just being given the script and they're just talking. And it's a top-down mentality from somebody who desires to say, this is what works, this is what should go into the news, what shouldn't. And so all of this is being exposed. And remember, the bigger issue right now is that we are in an information war. As it relates to the media, from a spiritual perspective, there is a, a higher power at play, right? We know it as God, Satan. But right now, Satan, he's prince of the air and he wants to have the controlling interest of all these media companies through these elites, through this cabal, through the global Illuminati, whatever, you know, deep state, whatever term you want to put in there, these people want a controlling vested interest so that they can take information and, and, and have perception 
public opinion crafted in a way so that they can tell you what to do, what to think, how to act, and all that stuff. And it shapes the minds of the people. At worst, you can call it propaganda. At best, you could call it objective reporting to make it look like, oh, you're doing a, a good public service, right? And so this whole information war of perspective, of, you know, in a sort of quote-unquote balanced way to get you news and all that stuff, you have to be ignorant. You have to step out. You can't just be eating up information like a buffet. You can't just be sitting there thinking, oh, what they're saying, I'll just take it for granted and think that's true. That's not what it is. And so you have to be aware of that. You may not know exactly if someone tells you, oh, it's 70 degrees outside. How do you, how do you know, right? It's, in some sense, you have to give them that credit and say, okay, maybe it is 70, blah, blah, blah. And all these things, to the smallest degree of detail, you have to realize that there is some objective, there's something deeper, and just realize that you need the Holy Spirit. You need the Lord to give you that discernment. The second thing I've said, or the next thing I've said, is that you should not take things at face value. There's much more happening than meets the eye. You have to realize that in this war, that every move you make, anything that you do, there are deeper, deeper implications. There are things that you wouldn't know. They're not going to tell you outright, right? It's going to cause a ruckus. It's going to have image management, branding issues. And the way they, even with this, right, Don Lemon, Tucker Carlson, what, what's the backstory, right? Are they ever going to say it? Is there something else, right? Did, did the Fox and Dominion uh, settlement have you know, include Tucker Carlson? Is Were there other things? We'll talk about some of the theories, right? So these things, you have to realize, if you take it and you think, and, and even with the Fox and Dominion loss, right, there's a lot of people, let's look at that, for example. A lot of people that are honestly, you know, idiotic. They look at it and they think, oh yeah, that means that there was no election fraud. Ha ha, gotcha. And they're over here mocking, pointing, thinking, oh my goodness, you're so stupid, you're so wrong, all of the election deniers and all that stuff. But again, this is what they want you to think because they're giving you bait and switch ammo to tell you this is what happened. But if you've done research, if you've prayed about it, if you looked at all the different things that have come out of this, right? No government issued voter ID, mail-in ballots handed to everyone without voter ID, ballot harvesting with no oversight, ballot drop boxes with no oversight. Think about the 2000 Mules documentary, five states colluding to stop vote counting on election night for the first time in history, little or no signature matches on millions of mail-in ballots, counting fake ballots for days after the election, voter rolls containing millions of inactive or improper registrations, illegal aliens voting by the millions, $400 million from Z uh, Mark Zuckerberg, all the affidavits, the video evidence that we've seen of various nefarious activity like suitcases being brought or pulled under you know, tables, things like that. When you, when you do all of the analysis, when you pray about it and you have a solid conclusion, right? When you have a solid conclusion of what you believe happened with the 2020 election, it doesn't just magically go away just because, oh, Dominion won a settlement case. Remember, this was a settlement. You have to start asking yourself critical thinking questions. As I've said, what is beyond this? Is there something more than face value? It was not a fair trial, right? Because the Delaware Superior Court judge, Eric uh, Davis, determined the case. So this is from just the, the news, the actual news, determined the case would uh, could proceed in July by a jury and said, this is what he said, quote, the evidence developed demonstrates that it is crystal clear that none of the statements relating to Dominion about the 2020 election are true. So the judge himself determined without the jury, without any trial, without any of the evidence being brought before him that the statements already made uh, against Dominion were false, isn't that the jury's job? Would Fox have received a fair trial even if it proceeded, right? With, with a judge that appears to be biased. So you have to start asking yourself certain things. So why would they have done this? So this could be one reason. Oh, we're going to lose more or other things are going to happen. Could Fox have been complicit in their part of the election steal? You know, what, what would have come out when you introduce documents, evidence, to the courts, right? And so there are things that you have to ask yourself instead of responding at face value. A lot of dumb people, they're looking at it like, ha ha, I knew it, I, I knew it. Like, you know, there is no election fraud just because of one case. But when you're anchored 
on the truth, when you're anchored on all of the research, all of the things that you know in your spirit has, you know, come as true for the last couple of years, then just because one thing comes at you doesn't mean it just, uh, you know, the truth goes away, right? The same thing with God, Jesus. Just because somebody says, hey, you know, there was some uh, seemingly error on this thing, this and that. One of my friends, they, you know, I think this about Jesus. So that means Jesus is not true. God is not real, right? And you're sitting there for all your life, for years, you know what is true, what isn't. You've been gaslit. And so a lot of people will, will go down that path just because they hear news and they take it at face value. So let's take a look at some of the, the things, right? So um, this sets a precedent. So, so we're going to go over a couple of theories, right? So I'm not saying I know what the theory is and this is what the theory is. I'm saying that why would this happen, for example, right? So let's go down this path. What, what happens, right, when media companies knowingly commit treason, right? Q has talked before about uh, knowingly pushing a narrative that is fake, false, right? The military has the power to take them over. You know, the question is, has it happened already, but discreetly? He's, uh, Q has talked previously about a heart surgery in reference to the media, when you, con uh, when you control the media, you control the public opinion. And, and also that disinformation is real and distractions are necessary. So this is coming from Q, right? And so talking through all of the reasoning of all this that's happening behind the scenes, what really is happening there? Did military actually come in, take over? Is it a public utility? What, what really is happening? I'm not saying that's what happened or is happening, but when you knowingly commit treason, right? When you knowingly go with the false narrative, right? And even Trump has said to Rupert Mur Murdoch, the owner of Fox, that all you have to do is tell the truth, show the proof. The truth otherwise uh, will be really, really bad for you. So he said that, right? And you know, when Trump says stuff very strong in a very, you know, serious tone that you have to take that seriously. He also did a recent interview. Uh, this is late breaking, right? He just did an interview tonight. And in the interview, he said that he was surprised that Fox settled with Dominion because it was a case that could have easily been won. So what's going on there, right? When you know the truth and they do something else, what is it, right? So it could be that from a white hat perspective, from a black hat perspective, there are different reasons. So I've said before that they may be exposed in their complicity with the steel. It could also be that there is a wealth transfer, money laundering that is being funneled. See the house money, right? Whoever owns this money, right? Because six companies own them, somebody at the top, they are looking at this as an opportunity for tax savings and just many other things, right? It helps them to make it look like the public perception that, oh yeah, there's this, you know, this narrative that's prepping them to, uh, to attempt to debunk the election, you know, theft and all that ahead of the 2024 election. So there could be this bait and switch, right? There's a, a multiple you know, reason effort here from, from a black hat perspective, right? So these guys are money laundering and they're trying to see the narrative of, yeah, see, it's debunked. Whoop, whoop de do no, no big deal. And then they just move on thinking that the naive people, right, will just take it hook, line and sinker. But a lot of us were smarter than that. So we know ab about that. And so the next thing is that from a white hat perspective, right, is it setting a precedent of the amount of uh, money that would be shown or used for other settlement cases in the future. So this is setting the example of many more defamation lawsuits that will come to light in the coming months and years for many other, I don't know, illegal things, especially for the other networks. So there's many things going on here. What's, what's absolutely true is that Fox, mainstream media, all these guys, they've been complicit in many, many crimes. Now there are some people Tucker Carlson, maybe Sean Hannity, maybe some of these other guys within the news networks, they've been doing the things that they wanted uh, that were true, right? Don Bongino, these guys, they've been uh, let go or left, whatever that backstory is. Point is, they were not desiring to be complicit in saying the lies. Tucker, we know, has been a trusty, trustworthy news person. And this man gets millions of views. I think more than 10x what CNN the best CNN guy has. So this, this person, Tucker Carlson, he has the attention of the American media. And right now the question is, what is deeper 
than what's being presented at face value. So these are some of the things that I've said that you have to look at in terms of what's going on. So let's go back to Don Lemon and the Tucker Carlson. What? Ha- why did that happen on the same day? Apparently, they didn't know about it from you know each other. That's what they say. Could it be that possibly Tucker Carlson is going to be brought into CNN and replace you know some primetime show, and then that's how they're going to take CNN and and of course you you got this new guy Chris Licht and you know people are trying to turn this around in some sense if it is under the control of military and there is some kind of public utility factor and all that they're slowly trying to unravel rewind uh, and just do things to help with this public perception without being too obvious and they're doing things in this discreet way with the control of the military and they're doing this because Tucker Carlson he already has this conservative base, and when he maybe I'm saying if he goes over to CNN, then maybe there's something there, or CNN is it's just being cleaned house, and then you're going to have godly, hopefully godly people come in, or CNN's downfall is completely there until some somebody new, some other news network comes in, right? Newsmax, uh, OANN, somebody else. I don't I don't know, right? So again, the prophetic word and just the downfall. And how God is going to deal with him. That is absolutely true. But the question is, how is that going to happen? Is it that people are replaced? Is it their owners are replaced and then they just, you know, switch into, you know, a godly direction? I mean, who knows, right? But the point is that these things are happening as we speak. There are rule, there are reasons, there are different things that are happening, and we just we can't take it at face value. And we have to realize that when you combine Some of, whether it's prophetic words, whether it's some of the things with regards to the military, the Q operation, with regards to just the direction that the people want this to go. All of it, all of it is coming to a head and there's a reason for all of this. And so again, the point here is that get ready because these guys are going down. The bad guys are all going down for sure. The question is, how is it going to happen? And don't react, right? Don't react to what you hear. Because a lot of people, they're, they're going to get distracted by the smoke and mirrors. They're going to get, uh, you know, worked up on the first layer of news that comes out as opposed to thinking critically, asking the Lord. And then if it's too much for you, just step back and say, you know what? The Lord will sort it out. I, I still have to do my part, right? You don't want to consume. You don't want to instigate. You don't want to help these guys out. But at the same time, if it's too much, news is too crazy, just step back, right? Step back. I'm saying all this because this is a very advanced level of discernment. You have to really think critically to get to a point for which, okay, maybe there's something else going on. Maybe it's deeper than we all think. And they're not going to just come out and say, hey, hey, you know, it's a military controlled public utility now. Uh, no big deal. Well, let me tell you the objective of why, why all this happened. They're not going to do that, right? So we're in a war between the highest levels, highest echelons of power. And it's a slow but steady, they're I don't know, covert assets, double agents, there are assets, there are many things going on. We don't really know what it is, but it's absolutely critical to get this pillar of society, the the media, communication, all of this is very critical going forward. And so you have to pray, you have to ask the Lord for discernment, but also that the Lord would work through this time. He's already declared it. It's just a matter of execution and how it's going to come about. So love you guys. A lot to come. It's a great time. Talk to you guys very soon.